Have you ever been broken? Oh, ano pa ito mo to? <laughs> Parang ako gusto ko ipagway yung someone. <laughs> someone na marunong magpiano din. O kakanta ko na ko, marunong kumanta. Parang na-excite na, excite na tuloy ako. Sige, talaga yung friend mo. Parang na-excite na ako yung paano niya in-answer yung prayer mo. <laughs> Sinabi ni John Ray that time, I want to save my first kiss for my future wife. Kaya <laughs> yeah, parang sabi ko, oh, wow! Kakaiba to. May lalaki pa bang ganyan? Diba? 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 Sobrang gusto ko rin ng ganyan. Nanonood <laughs> <laughs> ka? We just arrived here at uh, my friend's house. Her name is Diane. And as I promised, um, we're gonna do a makeup video today. Plus, she's gonna share with us her love story. Actually, her love story is one of my favorite godly love story. Um, if you know the, well, I would recommend that you guys uh, read the book um, when God writes your love story. I think um, I can relate her story and how God orchestrates her and um, uh, their newlywed, her husband's um, love story on that. So yeah, ta-da! You were the type that eclipsed the room I was the one who arrived too soon But no one would ever bet against us if they saw us exchanging glances I was too busy to fall in love You were too busy to break my heart Nobody else was there to stop us Nobody else was there to want us Now we go on and on with this poor love song We've been working on far too long, baby Stop. 
for better than this poor love song Too busy watching the TV screen Now we're just betting on broken dreams Now, talking about Ugot, um, may challenge ako kay Dayan kasi uh, hmm. along the way I'm doing covers hmm. and confessions so with our spotlight, since it's spotlight, uh, we're going to also do a hugot makeup. Hugot makeup? What is it? Have you ever been broken? Uh, oh, why are you going to do Yeah, well... You have to tell me because that's your team. Ko. <laughs> yeah, well, um, in terms of love life, not minor lang yung heartbroken ko kasi MU lang kami that time pero the thing that pinakaan heartbroken ako in the past was when my parents separated like that was the greatest uh, heartbreak of my life like there are times pag naalala ko siya may iyak na naman ako but, uh, for the longest time I don't know how to believe in love I don't even know I don't even know what love is when I was young Tapos, so you never had a boyfriend. I yeah. mean, prior to yeah, I never had a boyfriend. Mm. Never had a boyfriend. Wow. Yeah. I'm sorry, tino ni ano ni John. <laughs> John is the name of her husband. I'm also his first girlfriend. Yeah. We're both each other's first. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> Sana ako din nito, kasi yung first ko kala ko siya narin nito yung alam. Dahil naman ako opposite naman sa yun. Ano, Are we gonna keep wearing this so talking? Can you offer them one day? five minutes in there. Oh, no, it's so long. So prior to John, takot ka talaga ng mahal. Yeah. Nagpapaligo lang ako. Or never committed. Never committed. Kasi, pag feeling ko, if I get committed, parang mas maging vulnerable ako to getting hurt. Kaya, or I never opened my heart. Oh, well, let's start. Uh, uh, okay, ang humid oh, makeup ko, hello. Pero kanya kanya style. So okay. we're just gonna do our style. Ako ba? Ang hugot makeup ko is, I would say, fine from being broken hearted then to finally um, finding. I, I'm still in search for the one. Wow, so, in search for the one. I'm still in search for the one. <laughs> or waiting. Mikael, you're waiting. Pwede okay. Rin. Okay. What's yours? Honeymoon makeup or keeping the fire? For now, I want to keep the fire alive. So that's what you call your hugot yeah. makeup? Keeping the fire look. Oh, keeping the fire. Okay. Keeping the fire look. Ako, since wala pa akong boyfriend, I'm still in search. Pero ka bang hirin? I'm just searching for the fire. Look. Searching for the fire. <laughs> searching for the fire makeup. In search for, for the, one. the one. For the God-given one. Something to remind us that we're better than this poor love song. So, until so one time I joined a CCF retreat. Yeah, church not in CCF. So I joined a singles retreat. Pero eventually I joined because the current time when I was I felt so lost in life and I felt so lost in din pagdating sa love life. Like, kung alam na gawin ko so. Before you actually think of praying for your Mr. Right or your future partner. Anyway, so this is for you guys. Because there are a lot of to my heartbreaking ano eh, song series. Ko. So um, this is the part where you we can learn something from Diane and how... I mean, I wouldn't say you're a perfect couple. Hmm. But um, you're contented and you're happy with how the Lord presented your husband. Hmm. Yeah, so uh, sinabi sa amin na yeah, first have to know your my three M's. Master, mission, and mate. Okay. So first, you have to know your master. So sino ba ang master mo? Si God. Diba? Yung mm-hmm. iba kasi master nila, sarili nila. So if mm-hmm. si God ang master mo, I think you obey God in when you make decisions and how you, you ask God to lead you in your life. Ayan. So first, dapat si, ang master si God. Ganyan. So second is mission. So mission is parang ano ba yung purpose mo in this mm-hmm. life? Bakit ka ba nagwo-work? Bakit ka why are you breathing? Why are you living? Mm-hmm. Last mate. So mate is partner. So kailangan mo na you know your master, you know your mission. And then you look for a mate who has 
aligned same values as you the things a master and major. So you mentioned na you wrote did you write down? Yeah, I write down because well, um, qualities that you yeah. like for yeah. a guy. Kasi sabi nila, God knows the desires of our hearts and we have to trust that God can answer the desires mm-hmm. of our hearts. So pwede mo sabihin kay God as detailed as you want. Kung ano yung so you're very detailed. So I'm just very detailed. So wow. first, there was two long list. There was a non-negotiable <laughs> and a negotiable list. Okay, what's the so the non-negotiable? It means ito yung mga you cannot bargain with God. Kailangan halaga nandyan. Non-negotiable. So, non-negotiable. So ano ba yung kailangan for your that is aligned with your mission? So, kailangan someone so I'm I'm serving God. So I want someone who's also serving God. Dapat Christian din. Dapat someone who loves his family. And I want someone who will prioritize their family. And then someone who loves the word of God. Uh-huh. And someone who is a man for God din so. A man after God's own heart. Kasi madaming nagsasabi diyan na Christian sila but they don't really walk the talk. Kaya mm-hmm. it's important to look I mean, well, it's perfect, but you could, should see that it's genuine by your faith niya in God. Because you can see the effects later on if it's not genuine. Ayan. Tapos, I also wanted um, someone na okay, ano, stable ang career niya. Like, you can see he's responsible with his work. Of course, a future partner will become your partner in life. You will be a provider. You need someone who is responsible to the things a uh, career and yeah then, the good providers yeah and then when you pray when you pray to God for a partner pwede kang maging detailed sinasabi ng pastor before i remember don't settle for less mm-hmm. don't settle dapat pag pray mo talaga kung ano yung gusto mo sabi niya yung anak ko pinag-pray niya gusto niya ng asawa na magaling mag piano yung pinigitan na ganun ka kaya, kaya ikaw don't settle for less Kasi God knows the desires of your heart. Ganyan. Yun. Kaya, alam nga may faith ka na, bibigay ni God yung hinihiling mo talaga. Hinihiling ng heart mo. Ayan. So, so, okay, so ayan. For the non-negotiables, mm-hmm. yeah, I prayed nga for someone who loves God and then someone okay sa, okay sa career niya. I also Parang prayed... Parang ako gusto kong ipag-pray yung someone na... <laughs> no. Sama na, marunong mag-piano din. O kakantahan ako, marunong kumanta. Yeah, and then, baka nandiyan na siya. Saan? <laughs> I prayed na I want someone who also loves same passion as me. Hindi din sa music, hindi sa theater. Okay. Ayan. God answered that naman. I wanted okay, someone. Okay, so, ano yun? Uh, fast forward yun muna tayo. Ah, oh, sige. Are, some, are you done with your non-negotiables? No negotiable sa boss na yun. Negotiable sa yung I want someone ah, na okay. taller than me. Okay, taka heels ako. And I want someone na uh, na click. Did you really okay. ask that? <laughs> yeah, I ask. I wrote it in a. Okay, sometimes sabi nila if mayroong prayer request kay God, maganda you write it down para you remember. Kasi minsan if you don't write it down, you forgot that you prayed for it. Oh, minsan God answered it na pala, you forgot that He answered it. Kasi you forgot that you prayed for it. Kung nakasulat lahat, tapos biglang may something good happens. Oh, wait na, pinag-pray ko to ah! <laughs> and tapos, oh ma- my God. Oh, ganun, maka-count mo yung faithfulness of God. Not just... Para na-excite na tuloy ako. Sige, tuloy mo lang kwento mo. Not Pero just... na-excite na ako yung paano niya in-answer yung prayer mo. <laughs> okay, and then? So, we we went out as a group. Kami, kami mga friends, theater, catch up, catch up. Ay, masaya naman. Namustahan. And then, siguro for ilang months, palagi kami going out as a group. Hmm. Tapos, I noticed na madalas siyang lumalapit sa akin. Pero, kasi palagi nakadigit sa akin. Kunwari, kunwari, there's three girls and then siya one boy, magkakasama kami. And then, biglang umulan. Ako yung papayungan niya, yung iba hindi. Ako, Bakit ako lang pinapayungan niya, yung iba hindi? Does it mean special ako? <laughs> Pero ayaw ko mag-assume, kasi never naman siya nagsabi. Eh, ako, bakit ako lang pinayungan niya yung iba, hindi. <laughs> Pero so, little acts of, little acts like that, mean, sa baby ay sign na sa akin. Until, pero, I never assume pa din naman. We're, we're oh, friends. Actually, sometimes, oh. mahirap din as a girl na. Yeah. Mali mo, gentleman lang siya. Oo, oh, oh, yun. Actually, with most Christian guys, ganun, mahirap din na, um, ma, matimpla sila. Yeah. Kasi, 
I mean, for us girls, or even siguro sa kanila din, I think it's very important that you really pray for that person. Kasi, uh, at some point in time, you will know when they, when you wait, when, when you're patient with them, na, sa'yo ba siya nag-initiate eventually? Yeah. Na nag-initiate later. But, hindi naman ako okay. nag rush to have someone eh. Okay. okay. Parang settled na yung mind nila. Sige, if this the one. Pero at the back of your mind, parang, oh, this is the guy that I'm, yeah. I've been praying about. Yeah, parang I decided to wait. Wait, okay. wait talaga. Kaya nga, wait. Wait on God. Hmm. Kasi, uh, ayun, I'm not gonna, may may nangyari sa akin before na, pag, basta pag ang girl ang nag-initiate, hindi maganda, usually hindi maganda yung output. Kasi sabi nga nila, men are designed to pursue women. Men should be the hunter, not the women. Okay. I like but that. Let them I think I'm gonna highlight that part. Yeah, that was... Kasi especially nowadays na... Mga babae. Oh, mga babae na... I mean, I think it's okay. Kasi si Ruth, I believe one of the Bible characters also showed interest. Yeah. Pero, there's a difference between showing interest and actually chasing that person. Yeah, yeah syempre parang you just show you're interested by... Replying. Ganyan. Mm-hmm. Siyempre, yeah. yung guy, it's a distinction. Nag-message sa'yo. Siyempre, yung bigay ka ng signs na you're also interested. Para mas, yung guy, mas, mag, mag-go sila to really pursue you. Ganyan. Kasi kung di ka nag-reply, hindi, you're giving a sign na ayaw mo sa kanya. Diba? Uh, well, And I think it's also right lang din na you don't give false hope. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Like you, if you're not interested and is not the person that perhaps you're not praying about, um you you Mag- become direct then yeah. para di ba hindi ka na yeah, papaasa oh. <laughs> and guys should also learn how to pray for your, the girl yeah. or for para. that person one advice also that i can give our viewers na or our followers na um it is very important like you i think it's important that you know yourself very well before you can actually kasi kung hindi mo kilala yung sarili mo you don't yeah. know what you need you don't know what you want mm-hmm. then ibig sabihin you won't know who you want to be with diba? yeah so when you know who you want what you want then you know exactly you know your master yeah you know who you want to be with yeah right yeah. so like, uh, ayan so when when in investigate na siya so Sabi ng friend ng dad ko, oh, sige, ano, boss, I'll investigate him. Check mo sa Facebook. Oh, we have seven mutual friends. Gusto mo? I-research ko siya. Oh, sige, ako, assignment mo yun, ah, sabi ng dad ko. Ganyan. Tapos ako, hindi naman ako, I understood that my dad is being overprotective. Pero, so, when dad said he will investigate, for me, okay lang. I don't feel bad about it. Parang okay lang sa akin. Kasi, if totoong good guy naman si Johnny, eh di walang masama na lalabas yun, diba? It will only show his true color na he's a good person. Ayan, so, nag-investigate na. And it did na. So, there was an investigation that it happened. So, sabi, nung na-research na, sabi niya, oh, sabi ng friend ni Dado, Boss, ay, oh, may report na ako for you. Sabi ng office, ng friend ko, Nakakatakot pala na. Oh my, mutual friend ko, <laughs> Nakapaligaw sa'yo. <laughs> mutual friend ko na office mate ni John Ray. Sabi niya, sa three years na office mate ko si John Ray, I never saw him with another woman. Yan, yeah, wala siya niligawan sa office and hindi siya sumasama sa inuman, palagi na sa Bible study, ganun. Sabi ko, oh, sabi ni daddy, oh, oh, di okay, it's consistent with how they know him. Tapos after that, mas naging okay na si dad kay John Ray. He didn't, he didn't, ano na, didn't bug me na about it. Parang mm-hmm. at peace na siya. So when I saw that, dad was at peace na. Then nakita ko yung time na, ah, pwede ko nasagutin si John Ray. Oh. Uh, kasi no, when we were dating, when we were courting, like mga three months na, and he said, "Pwede ko na siya kaya siya sa buhay." And he said, "Po, like he was asking me, kailan kami ready to go to the next level." He was asking me, "Po, di ko siya sa buhay that time kasi my dad didn't like him yet that time." So, parang ayaw ko na sa buhay niya tapos mga galit dad ko. Ayaw ko na mangyari na ganon. Kaya I really waited until magkumokoy si dad. Cakak ako siya sinagot. Kaya I waited for six months. Nung mga, nung, nung, it was May when dad got the report na okay siya. Kaya nung June, okay ko, sige, pwede ko na siya sagutin. And sinakto ko yung date, na sina- the day when, nung sinagot ko siya, 
was the day then uh, showcase ng theater. So we actually, the we met at theater. Mm-hmm. So that that day, June 7, we attended the workshop theater of the next batch of students. And when they went there, we were in the synagogue. Because we had a reunion with the other theater guys. Din. So they were saying, date pala kayo. So sabi ng teacher namin, yung ano, coach namin sa theater, we never see, <laughs> see that coming last year. Ah. Kayo pala, we never see that very quiet lang kayo. Yeah, very quiet lang kami. And they didn't see that well, coming. They were surprised. <laughs> they were all surprised. Tapos, in that day, Korean siya sinagot. Tapos, and the rest was history. And sabi later, my, ano, John Ray also asked for the blessing of my parents to, mm-hmm. ano, para to propose later on. Ganyan, ganyan. Pero, ultimately, important nga for me to, you know, honor your parents din pagdating sa mga decisions in relationships. I also believe na kung bigay ni God sa'yo yun, he will make it smooth the path, smooth for you. I also believe that. Ayun. So, ngayon, happy. Happy kami lang. <laughs> Kaya ngayon, if you see our YouTube, meron akong YouTube together yes. with my husband. Sa Hard and School Wear. We both love singing. Yun ang passion namin. So we keep singing together. And you guys met to, I mean, through the theater, singing pa rin yung naging connection. Yeah. The oh. music. Mm. That's right. Yeah, singing and God. <laughs> perfect, uh, no, perfect combination. And all your uh, your checklist for all checks. Yeah. May oh, actually, I forgot. Ka I forgot to mention that sa non-negotiables ko, may sulat ko dun. Kailangan approval of God. Kaya kasama yun sa non-negotiables ko na pinagprepare ko kay God. Na si God's best ko. Si Mr. Right ko. Kailangan may approval ni Dad. Ayun. So, kasi alam ko medyo mahirap, medyo Mataas standard ni Dad. So, mahirap to get his approval. Like, I've had oh, other suitors. I've had other suitors before. So, hey, Daddy, di okay yan. Ano na? Ano na? Oo, kaya. Ang hirap mo pa lang. Oh, 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 the fact na nakapasa sa nag-okay siya, that means, malaking ano, okay na yung kaya. Sign na yun talaga from God na, na it's it's his choice. Parang ganun. And would you say up until now, how long have you guys been married? Married? Ano pa lang? We got married in January. Now it's so before the lockdown. Yeah, November. Very challenging because were you guys locked down together? Yeah, we're not. Yes. We got married na. So and then after, actually, the day we got married, January 11. The next day, pumutok si Taal. Okay. So oh, that but we were going to Tagaytay for an overnight. It didn't happen. Ang Batangas Street didn't happen. Wala kami honeymoon because <laughs> we all locked down. So the next day after the wedding, ano ginawa namin? nag sweep ng mga ashes. <laughs> ano to? Practice agad? Ano? Re- ano? Uh, real life. Real life. Oh, this is what um, marriage is all about. Wife. Ano yan? Ang tawag ito? Uh, housewife. Oh, mag- Ayun, no? Maglinis kayo. Ang mag- ashes. Tapos, we had to cover the car. Kasi, natapunan ng ashes. Ayan. So, parang work agad. Tapos, di kami makalabas kasi puro ashes. So, sige, mga leftover food from the wedding. Ganun mo na kakainin na ako <laughs> today. Hindi pa ako marunong magluto noon. <laughs> Ayan. Pero, nakapag, ano, mini honeymoon naman na kami just last two, mm-hmm. two weeks ago. Ayan, we went to Batang, ay, Batangas. We went to Bay Laguna. Ayan, maganda naman. Ayan, doon kami nag-overnight honeymoon lang. And you're happy. Yeah. For, like, mga, ano na, December 10, almost, no, 10 months? Yeah. You guys been together yeah. officially? Yeah, very happy and very blessed. And, syempre, may mga challenges kasi we have differences. Eh. Pero, mm-hmm. syempre, at the end of the day, palaging, ano, love. Your master. Yeah, love and forgive. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm looking forward for that. Mm-hmm. Like I said, in contrast to your story, that is something, and many of us, na hindi ginawa during our younger years. And siguro ko it's very inspiring to hear your stories then. Kasi talagang from the beginning, you obeyed. <laughs> and on John's perspective, as I see it, ang maganda naman sa pagiging obedient niya with the Lord, um, kahit hindi siya nakikita ng mga tao, yung pagiging faithful lang na hindi siya umiinom, um, he uwi agad siya after work, di ba? And all yeah. that. Hindi man nakikita ng mga tao sa paligid niya. Probably people doesn't appreciate kasi, you know, in this world. Um, yeah. People would want you to drink. People would want you to do it, this and this. Pero, nagbunga siya. Yun, I think, yung sinasabi na fruit of the spirit, eh. Um, nagbunga siya when 
your dad actually tried to spy on you. Yeah. <laughs> Had someone to spy, di ba? So, um, that's just a testimony of how obedience comes to us. Yeah. I think that's one of, because I was gonna ask you what advice I'm going to give with yeah. our ano, mga followers and young lovers, mm. diba? Um, I believe this could save you up from heartbreak yes. in the future. Um, of course, wala na mga relationship na hindi perfect. na perfect, yeah. diba? Ang maganda lang with both of you knowing the Lord, uh, He would know how to bow down before the Lord. Kamali ka man, magkamali man siya. Yeah, it is God ang nagkakampol sa atin, mm-hmm. si God ang nagturo sa atin mag forgive Ayan, kunwari kung nag-away kami, syempre, oh, mag-cool off muna, no talking, no talking. Then I will pray to God, and He will pray to God. So my yah, sabi ni God sa amin. Si God na lugar sabi sa amin na, oh, mag sorry ka na, mag forgive ka na. Mm-hmm. Later we'll come back to each other again. So we're sorry. That was okay na. At least kaya nga sabi nila, ang relationship daw natin dapat should be a triangle. Me, you, cah si God sa kita. Si pag kayo dalawa lang, ano eh, ma uubos din ang love niyo for each other. Yeah, pag ano niya. Or you will or sometimes you will. Suck the life or the love out of each other. Maybe so from needy, so from ano. Eh, but if you have God, parang you are complete na in your love from God, and then you just give love to this relationship. Because God, kasi he is a source. He's the source of love. He's the creator of love. He's the um, unconditional in love. Walang limitless yung ano. Ginawo ubos in love ni God. Kaya pag sa kanya ko kumuha ng love, mas madami kang mabibigay na love sa partner. And it applies in all relationships. Yeah. And I pray na sana ganun din. I mean, not sana. I believe that we rooted in our love, even our friendship to Him. Yeah. Um, kahit hindi mo talaga may iwasan yung, ano, yung misunderstanding, pero nakatutok lang sa kanya. Yeah. Siya ang kakausap sa atin. So anyway, yun. Thank you, Diane, for making time and for sharing your yeah. story. I'm excited <laughs> then for your love story. Oo, Ma, so I know. <laughs> So again, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and also hit the notification button down there para ma-update kayo sa aking mga upcoming adventure. See you guys in the next vlog!